Okay. It's uh, delving time again. Uh, the neighbours decided to cut the grass, so uh, so we might have to uh, might have to do some voiceovers on this. But um, what we're going to talk about here is our first delves. Now we're plugged in, but we're not turned on, so I don't need to worry too much. Um, first thing we need to learn about is starting an arc. And starting an arc. Well, when you're when you're doing welding, people will tell you that you should either you should either tap to start the arc like this, or scratch as though as though you're uh, as though you're lighting a match to start your arc. Um, with delding, it's different. Stick, wiggle. Stick, wiggle. Oh, you fucking wanker, why? Come on. Oh, come on. Man. Much like, uh, much like in welding, uh, we need to, uh, we need, we need to stick things together temporarily. Now, in welding we would use a tack. A tack is a small piece of weld, so we'd maybe come in with the stub of a stick and make a small weld here, and maybe a small weld here, in order to hold the piece in place. And that can be ground out, they can be cut and moved, basically you would tack, measure, move, if necessary, re-tack, so you're ready to go. Delving is not quite the same. Instead of using tacks, we use a cack. Now, a cack is much larger than a tack. It should be at least half as, th half as thick again as the base material. It should certainly stand proud. Your cacks should be proud. Um, and they're permanent. There's absolutely no question of ever cutting into a cack or grinding it away. And indeed, if you're finding yourself in a situation where you can't, for example, do a fillet delt down here with an acceptable level of organic fluidity, you could just join these pieces together with a number of cags. And as the material gets thinner, this is actually quite heavy, uh, as the material gets thinner, the chances of needing to do a cack rather than, than a delt are much higher. So, again, much like with your sister, straight in there, wiggle it about, wiggle it about, wiggle it about, wiggle it about, and out you come. We're after penetration, much like with your sister. What we want is a nice, big, proud cack on that surface there, preferably joining these two pieces together. Doesn't necessarily need to, but uh, that is kind of the goal. Now you can do your cacks with, uh, with the rest of the stick. Um, it makes it easier to get in, in the same way that it makes it easier to get in with a, uh, with a normal weld. And so we're going to go in there and And wiggle. Stick. And wiggle. Stick. And wiggle. And there we go. You see, we've got plenty of heat in there, lots of penetration, and that's our cack. Now, obviously, your sister's on top of it, lots of slag. 
it off with the old Peter Sutcliffe hammer. Hit it with a wire brush. And there we go. Now that's a nice cack. What we've got is a good organic form. It's kind of holding on to the bottom to the bottom steel. It's definitely kind of kind of clinging onto here for dear life. We've got a couple of inclusions in there, so uh, that's not really a problem. We can just build over the top of those. But let's imagine that we were working with, let's say, a couple of Harley Davidson tanks, and the material we were working with was much smaller than this. So we come in, and in order to join these together, we would then do another pack. So about about the width of the cag apart, and in we go. Stick and wiggle. Stick and wiggle. Wiggle, stick. Keep going in there, get that heat in there as much as possible. Stick and wiggle. And we're done. Another cag. And what we're going to do, in the same way that a seamstress might, is we're going to stitch this together. We're going to stitch it together with cacks. And you'll notice that we're getting a nice proud cack on there. We might not even have joined both pieces together with that one. So, in with the next one. Now you're delving. Another cack. Some professional welders would say that you should support your hands, like so, or support maybe half the stick. We're after an organic look. We're not after something that's straight, that's, that fits within the rules of accepted, of accepted norm, normalization and normal, normal stuff. We're after the organic HR Geiger look to our, to our delds. So we're just gonna go straight in there with. Nice wiggly end, and we're going to give it a go. Stick and wiggle. Are you ready? So, in there. Stick. Ooh, didn't quite get in there right. Stick and wiggle. Hey, stick and wiggle. Stick and wiggle, yes. Delving 100%. Oh, yeah, we love it. There we go. Stick and wiggle, stick and wiggle. Make that and there we go, yes! That was cacked so well that the stick is actually stuck! And that is delding. Let's get in and put another cack in there. Stick and wiggle. See, I'm making it look easy. You might take a bit, of, a bit of time to get to this kind of level. Now that's some fillet cacking. Remember, we're after the organic look. That's what we're getting here. Your delts don't have to be straight. It's not like we're, we're trying to make something that's perfect. What we're making is something that will support the filler. And there we go. So those are, those are correctly cacked together, nice and strong. Still quite hot. Be careful, keep your gloves on, because that's quite hot. Remember, penetration, stick and wiggle. If you're having trouble getting your stick and wiggle to work, turn the amperage up or down. Who knows? Change rods. Who knows? 
change your technique completely from one side of your piece to the other and definitely remember cacks are for life they're not just for Christmas. I'll maybe be back with another one of these at some point.